Hello and welcome to week three of the Christmas Around the World Crochet along with Busy Crochet. This week we are going to be creating kind of a Scandinavian, a Scandinavian sweater style. And I am going to be using, once again, I love this yarn. This time it's going to be terracotta and peacock and ivory. Those are my three colors for my sweater. We are going to be working this sweater pattern in a series of single rows of color. So this is not where you're going to need to carry color along with you at any point. So um, this should be fairly simple. It's going to be a lot of single crochet, chain one, and double crochets. <clears throat> All right, so we are going to start in our corner. I am using kind of unorthodox colors for this, but first of all, I wanted it to show up on camera for you. And second of all, I'm going with my beachy theme. So hopefully these colors work really well together with what I've got going. All right, we're gonna do single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the corner. And this row is gonna just be a regular single crochet row. So we just need to put one stitch or one single crochet into each stitch going around. And every corner is going to receive a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. I'll meet you back up over here. Alrighty, round 31 is complete. I have slip stitch with my first single crochet here. And then the thing to note is that you have 69 stitches going down each of your sides, including this chain, or not chain, but single crochet starting your side. So um, when you are counting your sides, just because the question has come up, when you're counting your sides, make sure that you include the single crochets, not the chain threes, but the single crochets per side. All right, so we're gonna switch over to our next color. This is going to be like the main color of the band portion of your sweater. So I'm gonna be using this turquoise color. We'll see how this looks, huh? All right, so we're gonna single crochet. This row is gonna be exactly like the other row. We're just gonna be single crocheting in each of the stitches going around. And on this one, you should have 71 stitches per side. Now, you can actually do something a little bit extra if you want to make this look like a knit sweater. And here's what I'll show you. If you go into the actual stitch itself, not the hole to the right, but the stitch itself, in each one, what will happen is this will end up looking like knitting or a knit sweater rather than just a crocheted one. Let me get a few done and then I'll show you what it looks like. It's kind of a neat little technique and I know that it's becoming more popular but that's what it looks like up close. Sorry. And I'm gonna keep doing that because I do want mine to actually look a bit like a sweater. Now we're gonna be doing some chain ones, skip ones, some double crochets. The only ones that I don't really do the um, single crochet right into the stitch itself is on those double crochets because when I'm single crocheting into those double crochets, they don't split the same way that a single crochet does. So that's probably the only rounds that I won't do that on. But anything that involves just a single, I like to do that split on. Now, I will say this. <clears throat> I've done this with both worsted weight and I have done this with DK weight as well. I found that it's easier to do with worsted than with DK just because I don't know if I got my stitches too tight or what exactly 
I did, but they did not look the same as this. They did not have that knit look to it. So um, just play with it. If you're working with DK, you know, maybe it'll work better for you. Maybe your stitches are going to be looser than mine were. But um, I find that this works probably best with just the worsted weight. Alrighty, so go ahead and continue around. Um, you have a choice. You can either do regular single crochet or you can do this knit look single crochet. It's completely up to you. Just remember if you're doing knit, you're going in between the actual posts of this, the stitch and not into the hole to the right. Do you see that difference? This is the hole to the right and that's into the actual posts of the stitch. Alrighty, keep going. I'll meet you up over here. Alright, I've completed my round 32. I do have 71 stitches per side and I did start my round 33 um, with my single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit further about this before we went on. It is called the waistcoat stitch and there are several tutorials on the interwebs out there. If you want to look up how to make more things in the waistcoat stitch, it's a way of making a knit look while you're crocheting without having to learn Tunisian or something like that. So we're gonna continue on with our pattern here. And this round is going to simply be chain one, skip one, and then we're gonna single crochet in the next. If you are continuing the waistcoat look, make sure that you're going in between the posts. Chain one, skip one and in between the posts. Now, if you are just doing normal single crochet, you do not have to go in between the poles. But if you would just go into your normal hole, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you watch this kind of closely because with you not going in these holes, make sure you're not going into the wrong single crochet when you do go into do the waistcoat stitch on these. Alrighty, just you'll have to pay a little bit closer attention to where you are on your round. Like for myself, sometimes the way that I keep track of this is I, <laughs> as you can see, I'm kind of physically touching that stitch that helps me remember where I'm at and where I need to be. You don't necessarily have to do it the way that I do it. That's just a way that I've adapted over time how to keep myself from either missing or going into wrong stitches. Alrighty, so keep going on this. I'm actually gonna meet you up over here. We'll end this side together and then I'll let you finish this round. All right, I'm finishing that first side of round 33. When you get to this end, you're going to chain one and you're going to skip that last single crochet and do your single crochet, chain three, single crochet corner. Now you're just going to start this next round or next side exactly the same, skipping that first one and going into the next and chain one. All right, so go ahead, complete the last three rounds. I'll meet you over here. Go ahead and cut off. We're going to change our colors again. All right. Round 33 is done. I have 37 single crochets going across each side. We're going to join with our blue or whatever your color is from this round. And we are going to do that with a chain one, single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the corner. Now this is where we're going to actually hide all of that white chaining. So all you're going to see are these little dots of white color coming through there or whatever color you put in there. All right, so we are going to start out with single crocheting in the first single crochet. I'm going to go ahead and continue with the waistcoat stitch. And then you're going to double crochet in front of the chain one space into the open single crochet from this round. So I'm going to go in like the waistcoat stitch but I'm only crocheting into that stitch. I'm not capturing the white chain in with it as well. Double crochet. Now go into the next single. This is what you're gonna do all the way across. 
Now double into that open single crochet from this round, but make sure that you're only working into that single crochet. However you choose to isolate your single crochet from that row. Just make sure that you are not capturing the white chain one in with that work. Your white chain one is actually still going to be out there behind your work, okay? we're not encapsulating that. The reason why we're not encapsulating that is because when you go around a chain, a lot of times it will drag the stitch before or after it down and it'll, it'll pull it in. We don't want to do that. We wanna make sure that each stitch maintains its own height. So that's why we are foregoing or skipping over working into that or around that chain one. The nice thing about these chain ones is that they really don't add any anything to really catch your fingers or toes on. Typically, if there's going to be more than three um, chains going across, I will find a way to cover it up just because I don't like getting fingers and toes caught in my work. But this you should have absolutely no problem with. Now, if you'll notice, I'm still working on that waistcoat stitch, so it's making it look like knit on all of these single crochets. Now the double crochet obviously is not going to look like that. And when you come to actually work into this in the next round, I would just suggest working right into the double loops of the double crochet, just because it's not going to work the same trying to do a waistcoat stitch with the double crochet. But your single crochets are all going to look like they're knit one on top of the other. That gives it kind of sweatery feel to it. All right, let's keep going. And like I said, this is going to be your repeat all the way around. You're just going to make sure that you double crochet in front of the chain one. And going into, if you're doing the waistcoat stitch, going into or in between the bars, even with the double crochet, that's okay. It maintains that look. Okay, I'm gonna let you go ahead and finish this up and I'll meet you back up over here. Go ahead and cut off whatever color it is you're working on. I'm gonna cut off my turquoise and I'm gonna switch back into my rust color. Okay, finished up round 34. We are now gonna move on to round 35. This is going to be a nice simple row because we're just gonna be single crocheting into each stitch going around. So start your corner with single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And now in your single crochets, if you've been doing the waistcoat stitch, continue that on. Don't worry about splitting the poles of the double crochets because they will not look the same you can go ahead and single crochet into the regular hole that a double crochet makes. And then go right back into doing the waistcoat stitch on your singles. But this round is just going to be single crochet all the way around. Go ahead and do th single, chain three, single in each of your corners and slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round when you get back to it. You can cut this off because we will change our color again. Um, I'm going to be going back to my off-white because we're going to be working through the main section of the sweater look. And um, you should have after 
round 35 is complete. You should have 77 stitches per side. All right, all right, round 35 is complete. I'm gonna move on to round 36, which is going to be an exact repeat of round 35. Um, this time, you're not gonna to have to worry, obviously, about going into double crochets at all. You will only be single crocheting into each single crochet. Keep using that um, waistcoat stitch. See how that's really starting to look like a piece of knit fabric? Um, corners are single crochet, chain three, single crochet throughout. Alrighty, I'm gonna leave you to this one because this is gonna be a nice, simple row for you. I will see you when we start round 37. You can go ahead and change your color to um, whichever one is your blue tone. So whatever you used for this main color here, that's gonna be the next row. All right, I'll see you then. All right, I hope round 36 was nice and simple for you. You should have 79 single crochets per side before you move on. But if you're ready, go ahead and start your next round with a single crochet, chain three, single crochet corner. All right, we are going to go ahead and start with the next patterning going across. This is, you're gonna, gonna have to pay a little bit of attention to this one. All right, so we're gonna chain two to begin with and skip the first two. Single crochet into three, one, two, three, chain one, skip one, single into the next, chain one, skip one, and single into three. So that is actually going to be your repeat going across. And it starts with the three single crochets. So three, chain one, skip one, single, chain one, skip one. Now starting the repeat again, single into three, chain one, skip one, single, chain one, skip one, start your repeat over, single into three. chain one, skip one, single, chain one, skip one, and go into three. Okay, I'll meet you at the next corner so that we can turn that together and then I'll let you finish this round. Okay, I'm at the other corner and in our instructions it says that you should have completed this repeat all the way across to the last five. So if you consider the fact that the chain one, skip one, is part of the last repeat, then you should have one, two, three, four, five stitches remaining. So go ahead and skip that one single into three, then chain two and skip the last two, making your corner and turning your work. And this will start the same way that the last one did. Chain two, skip two, and single crochet into three. And then you just continue to work that repeat all the way around. Alrighty, I'll see you back here when we change our color over to our main color white again. Okay, we're gonna start round 38 now. Make sure that you've got 53 single crochets going on along the side of 37. And we're going to join with the chain or the single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the corner. All right, so now this is going to just be a fairly simple row. You're gonna be putting a single crochet in your single crochets, and then you're going to, the open spaces where the chains are, you are going to be putting in double crochets into the single crochet, the row below. Once again, don't go around the chain, go in front of the chain. 
and into each of the single crochets. Go in front of, This one is not one that you have to do a, a whole lot of thinking for just because if there's a chain space, you double crochet there. If there's a single crochet, you single into it. So it's gonna start encapsulating that blue that you just put in there and just making it little pops of color. I think that's what I like the most about this kind of a pattern is that it create it's very very simple to do. You could create any kind of design that you wanted to really with um, this simple just hiding of color behind color. Okay. I'm gonna let you go ahead and finish up this round. Um, make sure that when you get to the end, you've got 83 stitches per side and um, join with your single crochet over here. Remember, if it's a single crochet, it gets a single. If it's a chain space, it gets a double crochet. That goes for over here as well, where we skipped those last two over here and we skipped the front two. You'll always finish with two here, one here, and then one here and two here. Alrighty, I'll see you at the end. Okay, starting round 39, I am joining with my rust color uh, in the pattern, it says graphite, but whatever you're using for this tone here, that's what you're gonna join with. And single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the corner. We are going to start by single crocheting into the first four. Three and four. Okay, we are going to chain one. We're skipping one and single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into three. Skip one, single into three. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single into three. So it's the exact same as the blue row down here, only we're offsetting those so you're putting your single in the middle of these three here and you are putting three over the top of the single here. So you're basically just re flip flopping that pattern repeat. Chain one, skip one, single. Chain one, skip one in three. Chain one, skip one, single. Chain one, skip one, and three. All right, I'll meet you up over here at the corner. Alrighty, I came back to actually work the corner with you. This is after 12 repeats of um, our, our repeat where we're ending with the three. I just wanted to show you how this is gonna end on this side. So you're still gonna do chain one, skip one, single crochet, because you might be getting worried and thinking, oh God, there's not enough stitch space left. There really is. So chain one, skip one, and single crochet in three. All right, that is our 13th repeat. I forgot to do the waistcoat, there we go. And then it says to single crochet in the last single crochet. So single in the last single. It finishes up with the same four that we started with over here. All right, and then go ahead and single, chain three and single, 
and you start all over again with single crocheting into four. All right, keep going around and I'll meet you back up over here when we're done. Okay, moving on to round 40. Uh, went ahead and did my corner single crochet, chain three, single crochet. We're going to single into five. And if you're continuing the waistcoat stitch, just keep doing that. All right, and we are going to double crochet into the single crochet below in front of that chain one. Single into the next and double one row below. Next, we are going to chain one, skip one, single in the next, chain one, skip one, and double, single, double. On this particular round, you are gonna wanna make sure that when you're working on the three together, you're chain one skipping this, singling into this, and chain one skipping this and you're basically closing in this single crochet. Just like that. Chain one, skip one, single, chain one, skip one, and then enclose this single with a double, a single, and a double, okay? That's just my way of memorizing the pattern so that I can do it quickly and easily rather than having to look back and forth I mean, if you have to look back and forth, that, that's fine as well. But that's just my formula for doing an easy memory. That the three together, the only one that gets actually worked into is the middle one. And the single by itself gets enclosed. like so. Okay, that's gonna be your repeat across. Just continue with the pattern as established. When you get over here, you're going to double, single, double, and then you'll finish off with five single crochets in the last and do your corner as normal. All right, I am gonna let you go ahead and finish this. Don't forget, the three together get a single in the middle. The single gets enclosed in the double, single, double. All right, hopefully that's not confusing to you. Hopefully this round is nice and easy for you and I'll meet you up over here. All right, round 40 has been completed. You should have 63 stitches per side. Don't count your chain ones when you're counting that. Just count the stitches, okay? So we are going to join again with the last color that we used um, to make these stitches down here because we're going to create, it makes sort of a little, the little box design in this round. So round 41, chain one, single, chain three, and single. We are going to then single into six doing your waistcoat stitch. All right, now we are going to chain one, skip one, single into the next, chain one, skip one, <coughs> excuse me, we will double crochet into the open space, the row below in front of that chain one, single into the next single, and double into the space below in front of that chain one. So it creates kind of a little box. Now chain one, skip one, and single into the next. 
chain one, skip one, double. Single and double. Chain one, skip one, single. Chain one, skip one, double in the row below. Chain one, skip one. Okay, so now you can see this repeats all the way across. Chain one, skip one. All right, do you see how we're making little boxes there? And the next row that we go through is gonna be the white again. So that's just going to um, enclose all of that rust color. So all you see is this little rust box with these two little rust dots, um, kind of like we have here where there's just the single dots of color. And it always looks a little bit better from further away because when you're right on top of it, you can see every single stitch. But when you're further away, you can kind of see more of the abstract design of it. But go ahead, keep going on this. This is going to keep repeating all the way across. When you get to the other side, remember you're gonna finish off with single crochets going across. And every corner is gonna get a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. All right, I'll meet you back over here where we switch colors back to our main color for our sweater. All right, 41 is completed, and um, I just wanted to quick talk with you. It might seem like your stuff is kind of leaning this way, and that's because that's the nature of single crochet. All you need to do is just kind of run your hand along and just straighten your stitches out going in the opposite direction, and it'll usually lay a little bit more in line. All right, just a little free tip there for you. Because I know sometimes it bothers me that all my work seems to be, you know, leaning in one direction, but it's just the nature of the stitch. Okay, so we're going to move on to round 42, which is going to be our main color for our sweater one more time. And we're going to single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the corner. And then we're going to single crochet into seven. four, five, six, and seven. All right, this is where we're gonna be filling in all those gaps around the rust color. So the next row, or I should say the next stitch that we're going to do is going to be, the next stitch that we're going to do is going to be a double crochet into the double crochet from the row below. Then we'll single into the single and double into the next double. Now single, single, and single. Remember, you don't have to try and split the poles or the, the, um, the stitch of a double crochet because it doesn't split the same way that a single does. So you can just go right into the regular loops so basically, where there is a chain one space, do your double crochet in front of your chain one. Otherwise, everything else gets a single crochet. Because right now, you're filling in all the gaps of color. I love watching the transition of this particular stitch because it goes from where it feels like it might be it's really rusty and it's got a lot of color going on right here to now all of a sudden we've got this very light, fresh kind of snowy um, sweater look going on. I just, that's one thing I love about this stitch is that it transitions every single row and maybe you don't like the way it's looking on one row, just wait until you're able to go back through and encase all of that in, it's gonna be beautiful. All right, just keep going on this. Everything, like I said, if it's a chain one, put a double crochet in front of it. Otherwise, everything else is going to get a single crochet. When you get to the end of this round or before you move on, make sure that you check your sides 
and that you've got 91 stitches. All right. I've been double checking as I'm going. And so, you know, you're not wrong. 40 and 41 should have 63 stitches per side. But this one is going to be 91 because we're filling in all of those spaces. All right, I'll meet you back up over here when we get to the end. Go ahead and slip stitch to this first single crochet and we're gonna move on and switch back to your uh, whatever your blue color is. Okay, moving on to round 43. I have 91 stitches going along each of my sides. I've already started with my single, chain three single in the corner. And I am going to now single crochet into six. Okay, here's six. Now I'm going to chain two. I'm going to I'm going to single crochet into three. Now we're going to chain one, we're going to skip one, and single. Chain one, skip one, and go into three. Chain one, skip one, and single. All right, so let me just show you where this is mirroring. We are now creating this exact same stitch pattern along the top so that we're mirroring that on the top here. Chain one, skip one, single into three. Go ahead and continue this repeat pattern going across. I'm going to go ahead and meet you up over here and you should have 64 stitches per side just stitches don't count your chains okay we're going to finish off this part of the sweater with off-white or whatever your main color is I've already taken care of my single crochet chain three single crochet in the corner we are going to start this round off with single crocheting into seven Four, five, six, and seven. We're going to double crochet into the two spaces below in front of this chain two. Just went into the wrong thing. All right, now we are going to single crochet into three. We are back to encasing our color in white. So if it has a chain one, you're going to put a double crochet in front of it. And if it is just a regular stitch, you're going to put a single crochet into it, going all the way across. This round, you should finish with 95 stitches per side. All right, go ahead and continue, finish up over here, slip stitch with your first single crochet, and then we are going to go back to working this particular section of the pattern. So I'm not going to come back and finish this with you only because we've already done all of these rows. Round 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49 are all here. So this is round 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So when we do this section, it says in the pattern, repeat round 31. Well, that means repeat this round that we did here. And because the blue 
is the same thing. It says repeat round 31. So it's just the only thing that's gonna change is your stitch count per side. So you're just gonna be creating this exact same look up here. You'll just have to watch your row counts. So I will stop back after I have completed this section for our send off for week three. Alrighty, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you after we complete the next section. All right, I've completed the remaining rounds for week three. I wanna thank you for working through this with me and I hope you had a really great time. I'll see you for week four.